not good. So Nathan's getting worse and I'm just getting better. Hi, I'm Nina and if you know me, you know I love drama. I am so excited to announce the coming of Filthy Rich. Your father. Not a faithful man. He had three children outside this marriage. Oh. Three different women. Filthy Rich will be premiering on Monday, September 21st at 9, 8 central on Fox. In honor of Filthy Rich, we're gonna make two dessert enthusiasts go head to head in a culinary cook-off where I get to decide which one of them makes the best Southern dessert. Now let's introduce our competitors. Hi, I'm Nathan, and today I'll be making lemon beignets, and they're gonna be a lot better than whatever Tracy's making. Hi, I'm Tracy, and today I'm going to make hummingbird cupcakes. This is my hummingbird cake. I made it myself this morning, especially for you all. You only have an hour and a half to make your desserts. May the best Southern dessert win. Good luck. I can totally get these cupcakes done in an hour and a half and I'm ready to win. I only have an hour and a half to make this, and I know it usually takes me two hours to make it. This is gonna to be tougher than hell, but I'm confident they're gonna be better than Tracy's Hummingbird Cupcakes. I'm gonna whisk those together, and sometimes people wanna skip this step. I feel like if Nathan was doing this, he'd probably skip this step, and they'd probably turn out pretty bad. This recipe is a lot more technical than cupcakes, I'll tell you that much. We've got our dry ingredients all mixed together, and now I'm gonna add my wet. Smells a lot better than cupcakes. Nathan picked a dumb recipe, I'll say it. He has to make a dough with yeast, which takes time to rise. He has to fry stuff, he has to fill stuff. I think that my recipe choice is really what is gonna win me the gold here. Every time I look over at Tracy, it seems like she's having a walk in the park. She's just scooping her batter, putting it into her cupcake tins. These are gonna be sweeter than heaven. Time to make my beignet dough. So I've got some warm water and yeast. Forgot to add sugar for my yeast, so they had nothing to eat, but I did it again. For yeast to work, you have to have something for it to eat. So it seems like he just kind of never learned like basic common sense or something. Time to combine. So it's going to look a little rough and scraggy, but that's what we're looking for. Time to transfer it and I will begin kneading this. Cool. I think it's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to transfer it to a greased bowl. Then I'm going to cover it and let it proof. You only have one hour remaining. One hour. Easy. I don't need an hour. I got all the time in the world. Cream cheese frosting, so of course there's cream cheese. Softened butter. Now I'm gonna beat these together until they become nice and incorporated. Again, I'm just waiting for my cupcakes to cook. Nathan's over there waiting for his dough to rise still. You've got 30 minutes left. I'm feeling great. No stress, easy breezy. Nathan is over there trying to cut beignet dough like he's never used a knife in his life. You know what, Tracy? If I wanted to do something easy, I would've made cupcakes. Literally a piece of cake. You have 15 minutes left. <gasps> okay, okay, so I got 15 minutes. Now I'm just gonna put this on a rack to let them cool. Then I'm gonna get to piping and filling these with the lemon curd. I think I've improved. I think these last ones are looking better than the first ones though. So Nathan's getting worse and I'm just getting better. You only have five minutes left. We're Oops. cutting, we're moving, oh boy. we're winning. It looks like Nathan's never used a pastry bag or something because he is just really struggling. I can show you how to use that after they announce it in the winter. This is not as easy as I thought it would be. Here we go, here we go, there it is. This is not good. I'm just gonna take a little slice of the fresh, kind of nestle it in there, and then a little dried slice and nestle it right beside it. And they might not look perfect, but they definitely look better than Nathan's. This is your one minute warning. I only need 15 seconds. Okay, I'm just gonna pick three of the best looking ones. Just a quick dusting powdered sugar. Last one. Beautiful. Boom. And time. Boom. Lemon beignets. Food is love. Bring your desserts over to me and set them right on this table. Thank you so much for bringing me these desserts. All right, the beignets. In terms of presentation, I think it's plated very simply, but in a very kind of classic way. Thank you. The color is very lovely. They're a nice kind of golden brown and they look like they'll have a nice little crisp on the outside, but then just kind of give way as you want a beignet to do. I have no problem with minimalism, as long as the food itself stands up to the test. Okay. 
Okay, I have to say, these cupcakes look pretty spectacular. Thank you. The frosting element is very beautiful. It takes a lot of effort to make and decorate 12 cupcakes versus three vignettes. <laughs> In terms of presentation, the cupcakes are really blowing me away. So now I'm gonna start tasting these desserts and I think I'll start with the beignets. Mm. Oh, that's a good beignet. It's very lemony. I wish there was, I think, even more lemon curd in this because the lemon curd part is really good. And I think, honestly, this beignet could use more of it. So now I'm gonna move on to the cupcakes. Mmm. Wow, this frosting is sweeter than heaven. I really appreciated the decor element. It's very pretty for presentation, but it is more of an obstacle to eat. Okay. Both of these desserts were very delicious. However, only one of them can be the best Southern dessert. Nathan, your beignets were a wonderful mix of the simplicity of a classic beignet with the little extra oomph of the tasty lemon curd on the inside. But I have to say Tracy's cupcakes truly blew me away. Down to the presentation was out of this world, so. These cupcakes are definitely my winner. Yes! Sorry, Nathan. I knew I would win, mostly because I knew Nathan would lose. Listen, Tracy may have won, but with a time crunch, whatever. Plus, Nina's taste buds are probably off. I know I had the better dessert at the end of the day. Thanks so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our cook-off. Be sure to check out Filthy Ridge, premiering Monday, September 21st at 9, 8 central on Fox.